So in the last video, we learned how to create layouts inside our Laravel application. And in this one, we're going to learn how to insert images because that is something you might want to do at some point inside your website. And when it comes to Laravel, of course, things are going to be a little bit different as well, because where do you put your images inside your project? How do you actually import it into your pages? And how do you import it so that it works on the development server as well as inside the production version of your website? You know, once you actually built the website. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have an image ready. And I do have a search bar image, which looks like this. So right now, this is just kind of like a search icon that I could use inside a search field or something. And I went ahead and placed that inside my public folder. Inside my public folder, I did actually create a new folder called images. And my images folder, you know, you can call whatever you want to. It just kind of makes sense to call it images. It's going to be inside the public folder because then I would actually be able to access it inside the production version as well. Because if you place it outside of here, it might not necessarily get imported once you actually built the development version of your website into the production version. So to make sure that we have access to it everywhere, we want to have it inside the public folder. So inside my images folder, I have my image. So going inside, let's say any of your pages inside your website here, in my case, I'm just going to go inside my default .blade .php file, which is our layouts file that we created in the last video. I'm just going to go inside my header tag just to have it somewhere. So inside my header tag, I'm going to create a image tag because that is a element that we know about an image element. And the source is going to be the link to the actual image. And this is where we need to actually link in the proper way in order to access the search.png file, which is my image. So inside the source, I'm going to say that I want to create these two curly brackets. And then I want to say acid parentheses. Now the curly brackets is a way for us to basically access certain things inside uh, inside a Laravel project when you have a blade template. You can also see we kind of did it up here when we link to a style sheet. Um, actually, I can see we have actually done this before. Uh, so as you can see, we have this acid element that links to a acid. So essentially, we're just kind of doing the same thing down here. We're saying that we have an acid somewhere we want to load in. And in this case, it's going to be an image. Now, the acid keyword here does actually point to your public folder. So if we were to go in here, I might want to say, well, inside the public folder, I have an images folder. So I'm going to write that down, images forward slash to go into that folder and then search dot PNG. If we were to save this, go back inside my website, then you can see we get a error message, undefined constant images. And of course, it's important not to make any sort of typing mistakes when you do this sort of thing. So make sure that inside the parentheses, you wrap it around single quotes. Otherwise, this is not going to work. So going back inside the website, you can now see that I loaded in my image, which is just of a basic search icon. So this is how you can load in images inside your Laravel website. And it's very quick and very easy to do. And when you do actually build this particular a development server website, it will also work inside your production version of your website. So that is a good thing. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this short video and I'll see you guys next time.